Robert Bregent is a trained engineer out of Olympia and he joins us now on King 5 Mornings. We spoke with him at length live yesterday morning who talked to us about uh, what he was seeing as this unfolded. Uh, you have vast experience in 20 years as a trained engineer. Um, now that we know speed was a factor, what do you see as to why this train would have been going so fast, Mr. Bregent? Well, uh, this was a 30 mile an hour permanent uh, speed restriction. This is common on railroads uh, and it is up to the engineer to uh, abide by those speed restrictions. Why that was not done uh, is what we need to determine. We now know the train derailed because of the speed. Uh, it could have been the engineer had a, a, a medical issue. Uh, it could be the engineer was impaired. It could be that the engineer applied the brakes and the brakes didn't work. So that is what the NTSB needs to do but it was apparent by the distance that a 130-ton locomotive uh, came to rest on the interstate that the speed was excessive. If you were brought into the party, what would you want to know first? What would be your first question? Well, I, the first obvious uh, question would be uh, to ask the engineer what happened. And uh, uh, that uh, uh, would give you some basic information and from there they could determine uh, what uh, the situation was and it should be noted that if uh, positive train control was installed on this line this would not have happened. Now let's talk a bit about that uh, because uh, Amtrak could have but was not using a positive train control and we know that can stop derailments caused by excessive speed. Uh, what are some of the reasons that they would not have been using that when we know it can save lives? Well, it's quite simple. I uh, fully agree with President Trump's uh, pronunciation that we need to upgrade the infrastructure. Uh, uh, unfortunately, at the same time as he was saying that, uh, Congress has been cutting back on the funds to support Amtrak year after year after year. So at this point uh, in time, Amtrak is just scattering and digging for funds to maintain the service. Uh, let alone pay for positive train control. So if we're going to have upgraded infrastructure, positive train control by law has to be installed by December of next year. But if the funding is not there, it can't be done. It's a $22 billion price tag, but also there are concerns that if it's not implemented properly, this kind of a system could create catastrophes with false uh, signals. How much of a factor do you think that should be? Well, that remains to be seen, but I understand that there are several companies have uh, various uh, uh, types of positive train control. They're trying to narrow it down to one that's universal, uh, but given the fact that positive train control uh, will automatically stop a train if the uh, engineer runs a signal or fails to heed a speed restriction is overwhelmingly uh, more positive than any possible uh, flaws that it may have, and those flaws obviously in any new type of uh, 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 installation would be worked out eventually. 